All right, now we're gonna look at some combinations. Again, you know, we're, we're gonna be doing uh, slip attacks. Uh, when we stab, we're gonna be working on the C-cut. Uh, again, uh, we're gonna be staying in the box. We're going to be uh, uh, snapping as we uh, slash. So again, we're working on all those drills again. So we didn't need to do a thousand snaps before we went on to the next thing, because we're gonna be doing snaps the whole time. He's not snapping, I'll say, make sure you snap, but he's picked it up pretty quickly, so it's not a big problem. That's another nice thing, when you lay something right on top of the other, right away, it just sticks better. Okay, so let's go. Uh, combinations. There will be times where we will have to throw more than one angle at a time. Uh, throwing multiple angles produces a much more dangerous attack. However, however we're also in range for a counterattack for a longer period of time. And again, we'll work on that. Uh, I think I'm going to talk about this in a second. We're going to work about. We're going to work through that problem as we get more advanced. Uh, some angles flow more naturally from one to the next and are thus more likely to succeed. The following drill introduces us to some effective combinations. This drill is only an introduction to combinations, and the concept will be advanced as we continue the course. In general, most combinations begin with slashes to allow us to close on a threat or to avoid an attack followed by a slasher thrust to deliver, uh, to deliver a fight ending injury. And they conclude with a defensive chop or a check uh, to allow us to disengage safely. And again, checking, uh, that's probably the first time I've used that word in there. Uh, checking will be discussed uh, in lesson, uh, I believe it's four, we'll get into a lot of checking. We'll be working on uh, catching, trapping, and uh, checking, and then we'll add the striking and kicking also. Okay, so uh, we're going to go through all the combinations, uh, making sure that the slash is snapped and the thrust finished with the C-cut. We're going to continue to focus on having the angles begin and end from the hip chamber while remaining in the box, while our empty hand remains in a guard position. We're going to start slow and increase speed if all concepts are being performed properly. Continue to practice skill set 8 in between the uh, drills below. Skill set 8, what the hell? Skill set 8 is uh, working the knife. Uh, the coordination drills. So while I'm going through this, you know, you'll do a uh, coordination drill. Just start off with the handoffs. And let's see. Uh, so one, we're going to attack on uh, angle one and then angle two. And uh, we're going to be about three feet away while we do this. And well, actually, we're going to be five feet away. And we're going to do ten reps. So this is going to be uh, exhausting. Great. <clears throat> so again, he's just going to be. Uh, whoops. While I'm, while I'm doing my uh, set, he's just going to be working back on this drill. Again, working on using those three fingers to control the blade. Thank you, good job. Okay, so again, uh, working on combinations. We're going to be working on angle one, angle two combination. Again, we don't want to get too far out here when we come across this two. We want to keep it just like this here, just like pushing out as we're doing this, so that we're applying that force and then snapping as we hit on each angle. So I'm gonna come in, bam, bam, and jump back out. And so, bam, bam, and come back out. And come back out. 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 Just move over a little bit. Slam that thing a little bit. Now on that two, make it a little bit more of a punch and just snap as you punch. So it's uh, what people would call a hack. Okay. But we are sliding the blade all the way across it as we come back. Stop one second. Give this at more of a 90, more of a 90. So now, so now as you go out, you're gonna snap like that. Your box is good. So think of it this way here, here just yeah. help you out. You're gonna come out with a little circle like this, a little circle like that, and then you're just gonna turn it in a little circle coming back here. So the first one hits here, and here's this little circle here. See that circle I'm talking about? Now I'm going to come here. 
So it's almost like I'm doing a little figure eight after here. I'm coming here, here's a little figure eight. I'm turning this one here. I get the angle back here to 90 degrees. Now I snap and that's the top part of my figure eight. So again, here's that figure eight. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it right there. Right. But now see your, your blade is staying like this. This one needs to snap here and as it comes down this bottom, this needs to reload. And now I come up here and that's where it unloads. That's what I want, two halves. That's better. See, now I'm hearing something when you hit. There you go. Now we're getting through this first guy. We're getting that second guy. Okay, so the next drill uh, that we're going to do is we're going to attack on angle one and then angle eight. Okay? So what we're doing now is we're using a slash to set up a thrust. So I'm gonna come here on this angle one, and again, it's gonna be that same little circle, that same little circle, except for instead of coming up here like this, now I'm coming in here, and I'm ripping over here, okay? So it's that same little circle, that inside of the box circle. These little circles, you're gonna see them a lot, okay? Uh, I like little circles, I used to study, uh, I didn't study Wally J's uh, uh, small circle system, but I studied the system that he started with before he come up with a small circle concept, which was a uh, coding con jujitsu. And let's see. So again, we're coming here, bam, bam, just like that. Nice, quick attack. <clears throat> Fuck you up, bitch. <clears throat> I'm telling you, stop, stay back, man. Oh, I'm gonna do what? That's what I'm gonna do. But a two five. So again, we're gonna have that nice little circle here, and bam, right back in there. See his elbow in tight, covering as much of my uh, body as I can, and we got a little snap up here and a little C cut there. What's that five? Can only be next would be uh, a 12-6. That's the only thing that could be next. 12-6. 11, 11, 11 off. 11-7 11, could be next, but we'll go to 12-6. So yeah, this one is uh, we're coming up high at the throat and then coming in on the throat. So coming here. That was a shoulder. <laughs> that was a little off. There we go. 11-6. First. Yeah, now in this, uh, well, no, that's next. First, we have to do the worst one. Uh, if you weren't going to throw a combination, this would be the combination I wouldn't throw. Actually, we will see this a lot, but we'll see it much in tighter when we're on the flank of the guy. Whereas here, it's just, uh, just give you a little jump. Slow motion, just attack me, put the knife off. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, that's fine right there. So again, I might, okay, just come with a stab to my five. So I might come oh. like this, oh, sorry. <laughs> and I come here like this, and I come here like that. So we will see. Sorry, I thought I forgot I had the other thing. That's cool. So, anyways, uh, uh, that's where this one works. It's more down here. Trying to come up all the way to the throat. It's a very hard technique to throw. This angle, uh, angle eleven to a uh, seven. Well, we're going to do the hard stuff. Why? Because you never know when you're going to need to do the hard stuff, and you'd rather be capable than not capable on the day you need it.
Okay, so now a three to an eight. Go back to the guard. Digging holes here with our takeoff feet. Okay, so I'm gonna move over here where I don't have such a big hole. Again, three, eight, three, eight, three, eight. Three, eight. One thing you'll notice is Scott's cuts are becoming a little crisper. They're staying nicely inside the box. It doesn't look like his left hand that he's fighting with is his non-dominant hand. If we were to give him that a knife in his right hand right now, he wouldn't look any better than his left hand. That's because we've been doing lots of drills with the left hand. All that familiarity being picked up and picked up and picked up. And now he actually uh, He's starting to look like he's uh, delivering his angles quite well. He's staying nice in the box. He's got that little circle, that almost rechamber, which gives him the, uh, the all the windup he needs for that stab. You don't need to start back here for that stab. He just comes through here and puts it here because you're using your body weight. You're not just arm swinging. You're coming in here, boom, and as you're leaning forward, bam, in goes that knife. And we have a huge hole here right now, a huge hole here from twisting the knives, whereas before we just had slices going in. Even though we did a lot of angles before, we did a lot of angle fives, a lot of angle eights, a lot of sixes and sevens. Now what you have is big, you know, four finger holes in here from this stuff, these knives with no edge whatsoever, just tearing away at this foam. And that's, uh, that's what the technique is for. Okay, so now we're coming with a four and a five, okay? You gotta have the right wife to uh, get away with this kind of stuff in your backyard. I don't uh, recommend marrying an Ameri American woman. It's just my personal opinion. I haven't been married four times. If you want to be able to train to the amount you like, get you a Filipino woman. A Filipino woman from the country. They appreciate this kind of stuff. All right. Matter of fact, uh, watch the video, uh, the Grandmaster uh, Perez. I don't know if he's the guy from Dose Perez. He has a couple videos, Filipino, working out in a Filipino village. And shit just happens in the streets like that over there. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Again, you're not looking for big, huge slashes all across this guy's body. You're just looking for a deep slash. That's the big thing you want is a deep slash. Just slashing this guy up across his arms and his stomach, that's not what's going to finish this fight. That's going to piss him off. It's going to leave uh, scars on his body where he's going to remember you for the rest of his life. Uh, so you want to get these, these things deep. You want to cause damage. You want to try to get an artery. Now again, this area here, threes and fours in the stomach. That's a training drill, man. Ain't no threes and fours in the stomach. It's a waste of time. It's a complete waste of time. Threes and fours to the neck. Threes and fours to an attacking limb. Fives and eights to the body. Fives and eights to the body. You're wasting your time throwing threes and fours. There's a drill, though. There's a drill. This will be to the arm. To the arm. Back inside. Gut this guy. Check him off this way. Put one in the neck. Get behind him. Slash the throat. That's what we're going to be talking about when we get advanced. But again, do we need to throw lots of threes and fours to get the technique right, to make sure we're snapping 
to make sure we're inside the box, to make sure we're hitting before our foot lands down, to make sure we're doing our nice C cuts. Yeah, we need to do all that stuff. We need to build that firm foundation, that base. I'm not a Bible guy, but they said, you know, don't build your house on sand, build it on rock. That's a firm foundation. That's what we're doing here. We're building a firm foundation. I'm actually a Buddhist. That's the way I don't have to worry about killing people and uh, paying for it later. Okay, so let's see. Uh, as I said, I'm sick. Uh, let's see, what's an extra? Okay, let's see, four to six. Four to a six, yeah, we did that. A three to a seven. Back to the guard. A three to a seven. Oh, a three to a seven. We're gonna do a three to a seven because we're gonna do that so much later on. Okay, so three to a seven. That's that one I showed you briefly as a defensive response. So we're definitely gonna uh, start working that in now so that it'll flow smoother later when we just adjust it a little bit. Just getting familiar with it now. So again, we're coming in with this straight and bam. And you can throw a few of those low and a few of those high, the threes. Nothing wrong with throwing the three high. Nothing wrong with throwing it low. It's just a drill. Now let's throw some high. Five low and five high. Feel this uh, tighten up right there. Yeah, man, it will do it. <laughs> I sat down for a second. That was a bad move. That's that little circle the chamber. It's gonna be guarding over here. You're trying to come back here. I don't know, you missed his arm, and now you're coming over here. What do you got over here? His knife is still good. That's all you really got. I mean, you're gonna to have to get all crooked and stuff, but if it's over here, you have no chance of getting it. If it's over here, you have half a chance. Well, you'd probably be twisting more like this, and then you come back over here, but that's uh, for later on. You wanna keep that thing as close to that center as possible. Don't let it get lazy like a boxer or a right on his jab. He's got a lazy jab that comes back low where he drops his right. You've got to keep it up high. Just two more. That's good. That's good. Keep this thing here. Pin this thing like right here. Keep as close to your solar plexus as you can. Okay, so let's see. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're doing four to, uh, four to uh, sixes. Right here. Okay, we're gonna go to just five. Now we're gonna reverse them, as you had mentioned, uh, you thought we were gonna do, You're correct? We're gonna go from stab to slash now. So we're gonna come in with this eight, bam, rip it out, and then come up. Okay, so again, we gotta get in, we gotta get out, and then we're gonna rip it up. Get in, get out, rip up. Get in, get out, rip up. Give 
So make sure you C cut on the way out. And that sets you up for that yeah. For that up as well. Uh, throwing multiple angles produces a much more dangerous attack. However, however, we're also in range for a counterattack for a longer period of time. And again, we'll work on that. Uh, I think I'm going to talk about this in a second. We're going to work about. We're going to work through that problem as we get more advanced. Uh, some angles flow more naturally from one to the next and are thus more likely to succeed. The following drill introduces us to some effective combinations. This drill is only an introduction to combinations and the concept will be advanced as we continue the course. In general, most combinations begin with slashes to allow us to close on a threat or to avoid an attack, followed by a slash or thrust to deliver, uh, to deliver a fight ending injury. And they conclude with a defensive chop or a check uh, to allow us. All right, now we're gonna look at some combinations. Again, you know, we're, we're gonna be doing uh, slip attacks uh, when we stab, we're going to be working on the C-cut. Uh, again, uh, we're going to be staying in the box. We're going to be uh, uh, snapping as we uh, slash. So again, we're working on all those drills again. So we didn't need to do a thousand snaps before we went on to the next thing. Because we're going to be doing snaps the whole time. If he's not snapping, I'll say make sure you snap. But he's picked it up pretty quickly, so it's not a big problem. That's another nice thing when you lay something right on top of the other right away. It just sticks better. Okay, so let's go. Uh, combinations. There will be times where we will have to throw more than one angle at a time just to disengage safely. And again, checking, uh, that's probably the first time I've used that word in there. Uh, checking will be discussed uh, in lesson, uh, I believe it's four. We'll get into a lot of checking. We'll be working on uh, catching, trapping, and uh, checking and then we'll add the striking and kicking also okay so uh we're going to go through all the combinations uh making sure that the slash is snapped and the thrust finished with the c cut we're going to continue to focus on having the angles begin and end from the hip chamber while remaining in the box while our empty hand remains in a guard position we're going to start slow and increase speed if all concepts are being performed properly continue to practice skill set eight in between the uh drills below Skill set eight. What the hell? Skill set eight is uh, one angle two combination. Again, we don't want to get too far out here when we come across this two. We want to keep it just like this here, just like pushing out as we're doing this, so that we're applying that force and then snapping as we hit on each angle. So I'm going to come in, bam, bam, and jump back out. And so, bam, bam, and coming back out. bit, slam that thing a little bit, working the knife, uh, the coordination drills. So while I'm going through this, you know, you'll do a uh, coordination drill. Just start off with the handoffs. And let's see, uh, so one, we're going to tack on uh, angle one and then angle two. And uh, we're going to be about three feet away while we do this. And well, actually, we're going to be five feet away. And we're going to do 10 reps. So this is going to be uh, exhausting. Great. <clears throat> So again, he's just going to be, uh, whoops. while I'm while I'm doing my uh, set, he's just going to be working back on this drill. Again, working on using those three fingers to control the blade. Thank you, Okay, so again, uh, working on combinations, we're going to be working on an angle.